Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate group joiner on Facebook using Socinator. Joining groups on Facebook is a great way to interact with fellow users who share the same interests. Let's start with the account manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the account. To do that, right click on your Facebook account and hit go to tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Facebook using Socinator. Let's click Group Joiner. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to join Facebook groups according to your preferences within a period of time. There are several configuration categories for the Group Joiner activity. Let's start with Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted Facebook groups to join. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the group. You can select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. Once you have selected your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area or import from CSVR text file by clicking this button. Select the right file and click Open. When you're done, click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's say anime, for example, click add. So this will target Facebook groups containing this keyword, anime. Next is graph search URL. So we need a search URL here. So let's search something on Facebook. Let's say we search the same keyword, anime. So for the search results, make sure you click the groups tab because we are targeting Facebook groups. So copy the search URL, paste it here, and click Add. So this will target the Facebook groups which appeared in our search. Finally, we have custom group URL. So we need a specific group URL here. Let's say the how to draw manga group. So copy the group URL, paste it here, and click Add. And it will target that specific Facebook group. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say you want to remove custom group URL. Click and it's gone. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should join groups. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use like slow with an average daily activities of 16, medium with 41, fast with 66, or super fast with 125. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Facebook group is joined. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after joining the number of groups you set in number of group joiner request per job. Number of group joiner request per job will allow you to specify the number of Facebook groups you want to join per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of Facebook groups to join per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max group joiner request per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep joining groups even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. Let's say you don't want to operate on Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m., click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it Facebook group joiner and click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing Facebook group joiner. The next tool is group filter. This allows us to filter the groups we want to join on Facebook. So the first one is group type. So you may choose to join either a public group or a private group. So let's choose public. Then groups joined by my friends. If you want to join groups that are already joined by your Facebook friends, 
You may also skip groups if you have already joined or sent request to join. So check this box if you want that. And finally, you can specify the member range of the groups you want to join. So you can input the minimum and maximum number of members here. And the last tool is other configurations. So check this box if you want the unique groups to be joined from each account. So from each account on Socinator. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start joining groups on Facebook, let's scroll up and hit the save button. Success. Then click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating group joiner on Facebook using Socinator. This one will allow us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select Facebook. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the grow groups tab and select group joiner on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Facebook group joiner. For keywords, let's target uh, anime. So this will target groups with this keyword. For job configuration, let's select slow. And for group filter, let's select public groups and skip groups if I already joined. Then for other configurations, it's up to you. When you're ready, click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Facebook accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, Create Campaign. If you want to proceed, click the box of the account and the Save button. This will automatically bring us to the Campaigns tab, where you can see that we have successfully created our Facebook group joiner campaign. Click the Status button to pause the campaign, and the Action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot, and thank you so much for watching.